Alright, what's up YouTube? What's up, Naughty Gang? So for today's video, I'm gonna show y'all the best dribble animations that's in the game and the dribble style is gonna be switched. So I'm gonna give y'all all of that and I'm gonna show y'all some clips of this really does work in stage and park. The main difference in this patch, you gotta hold up diagonally on the left stick when you do these speed boost moves. Now just take a look at these clips and look what I'm doing to these people inside of these clips. So boom, as you're gonna see, look at this. Split the middle, crab, green. Lightly contested. I'm just telling you, this this dribble style is really good for splitting the middle defense as you're gonna see over and over. That's the common theme here. Look how high the big's playing. I split both of them, green bean, hold that. So as you can see, this dribble style is really good. And when they reach, it's too late for them to come back. As you see, another green is on the way. So this is the last one right here. It's easy, it's nothing special. The dribble style is nothing special. It just gets the job done really easy. So now, before we get into all that, I'm gonna show you all the badges and dribble styles and dribble animations that I'm using. So let's get right into the animations. This is gonna be the dribble style that you want, Paul George. I'm telling you right now, this is nasty. It's kind of like 2K21, how it speed boosts you up the court. Now, sync your size up. It's still gonna be Derrick Rose. If you don't like Derrick Rose, I have another one you can use, which is Kemba Walker. It has better combos, but Derrick Rose is by far the fastest speed boost in the game. Alright, size up escape, it's either going to be Trey Young, the second one, best one is Damian Lillard, depends how you play, if you like the combo more, stand still dribbling, Damian Lillard is the way to go. Now, moving crossover, I use Chris Paul, I'll show you why in the game, like in this little tutorial coming up court, what moves you can do, and I'm going to tell you all what badges to run as well. Moving behind the backs, Damian Lillard, it gives you a glitchy move, you can go back out the three pointer with this, whatever you want to do, if you don't like that, if you want the old one, Scottie Pippen. Now basic spin moving spin is gonna be basic one still normal uh, moving hezzy is still gonna be normal moving step back is gonna be Chris Paul this is gonna be where you get the hezzy the 2k20 hezzy from all right now let's get right into the badges all right so badges look it just depends on you bullet pass or gold is really good silver is really good as well as well hyperdrive you're gonna need this post patch all right increases the speed at which a player can perform moving dribble moves as they attack down the court this means you can kind of combo up the court like 2k21 current gen and that's what type of combos it will give you all right now if you want a hall of fame do a hall of fame silver to hall of fame is where i recommend this all right after that stop and go if you don't want to waste that many badge points put it down to silver if you like tight handles rock it because i understand at post patch you're gonna need as much help as you can get but this is what I normally run it, run as. Boom, that'll be good for now. I used to really not use tight handles, but now all I'm seeing is double team, so why not? And it gets away a lot of those bump animations you get from Lockdown's Garden. If they can be on a pure rock lock, they can run ankle break, ankle braces if they need to, to negate tight handles. So let them have it, run tight handles. Swallow that pride, run tight handles, it doesn't matter. All right now. For shooting, this is the badges that I rock. You don't have to rock this if you don't want to. This is just me because I like to shoot really deep. I have Chef on. Now, sorry about my controller being in the way, but all you're missing is Chef. All right, Blinders is going to be Hall of Fame. Hot Zone Hunter works just as good on gold as it does Hall of Fame. Dead Eye Silver makes you make a lot of clutch shots when they jump at you. And then Sob Pop is a really good badge, but I don't have enough badges for it. So I rock it on gold. Then you got Sniper and Mismatch. That's what you're going to need. All right, so that's over with. Let's get right into this dribble tutorial. All right, so the first thing you'll notice about this dribble style is going to be how fast the speed boost is going straight up court. It's extremely fast. All right, so y'all see the moves. Y'all seen the dribble style. So let's get into some of the moves. So the first one is just the basic one, the, the tray on cross, right? Tray on cross, and you flick up and speed boost. See how fast that is? Okay, so now what you can do, I like to start with the ball on the left hand always. So you can combo that twice and you can do misdirections with it and set it up to go. Straight across court as you see that if they try to double team you, all you're gonna do is you're gonna set it up to go straight through the middle and you can peek that, you see what I'm saying? So, so all you're gonna do is crab, crossover, crab, crossover. That's what it looks like standing still. So that, then together, crab, crossover, crab, crossover, run. See how it looks like when you kind of go fast with it? I kind of let go, so don't pay attention to the speed boost out of it. Boom. Boom. Okay. 
That's the move, that's really good. Now you can do the same one and you use misdirection off of it. You see what I'm talking about? So you're just gonna crab, crossover, and run the opposite way. Or you can do the move, spam it twice. Crab, crossover, crab, crossover. I'm just doing it slow so y'all can see it. And then misdirection. When I say misdirection is this. You flick up like that. So you're gonna flick up, click R2, and run the opposite way. That's the misdirection. Okay. OBS is tripping right now, so I'm sorry. So just pay attention the best that you can. So now you can, this is another move that's really good with this dribble style. Cause it's gonna be like, well, I can't really combo as good, right? But you really can. So you're just gonna flick up and you pull your left stick, flick up, pull your left stick. And then whenever you wanna go, you just go. You see what I'm talking about? With it, you just flick up, pull your left stick the opposite way. All right, that's how you're gonna do combos to set this dribble style up. So it'd be like, flick up, flick up. You can curry a couple times, boom, misdirection, get him chasing you, and you're gone. <clears throat> These are just simple combos I'm showing y'all. It's not an in-depth dribble tutorial. I just want to give y'all the dribble style and what to do post-patch. Now for the Hezzy like 2K20, all you're going to do is you're going to run to the side, hold R2, flick up on the right stick. It's up diagonally when you do it. See how it is kind of up diagonally every time I do a speed boost? That's the main thing post-patch. You got to do up diagonally right because if you don't do up diagonally it's going to give you slow moves like this if you're too much to the side even when you do the crab like if you try to speed boost off the crab see how slow that is it'll mess you up see how slow that is so then in order to fix that you're going to go up diagonally on the left stick right every move you do is going to be up diagonally so boom up diagonally boom up diagonally up diagonally now, for those of you who like the steady slide, there's still ways to do it. The main thing is you're gonna pull back from farther than you did before. So you can still steady slide and set combos up to go. All right, so this is my favorite move. All you're gonna do is R2, up diagonally, let go of everything, and flick up on your right stick and pull your left stick where you wanna go. So it's just crab, momentum, crab, momentum, and then you mix it in with the with the crab crossover, right? So you're mixing in the crab momentums and with the crab crossovers, setting it up, and you're going. So with this dribble style, you see tight handles activates even off of regular speed boost. And I learned this one from T. You see that move right there? You come in, you do the crab, and you pull back diagonally. So instead of doing a steady slide, like that, you just crab and you can move backwards. Crab, move backwards. <laughs> now for coming up the court, you can literally just hezzy, go. And you can hezzy and pull your left stick the opposite way to do that, right? So also hyperdrive, what it helps you, if you notice every time I do a big behind the back, you're gonna see hyperdrive popping up a lot. Okay, so another main thing, instead of just going for the steady slides at the wing like you used to, like right there, they still work with this dribble style, as you can see. But what you'll do instead, you can do big behind the backs, but if they're guarding you, just do a snatch back. If they're playing it, do that. But it's a really good way when you, like when they're guarding you sometimes, and you're just setting up, I mean, let me get back. When you're setting up your combos, and you have it, you can just do a big behind the back, and they chase it too much, you do that little curry after it. So if you do this, do, see a mess up sometimes, you do that, then you do the curry. If you do that, all right, if you do that right, the big behind the back to the curry, it's gonna give you fast shots. You wanna make sure you set it up. Like the best place to set it up is gonna, let me get in place, is gonna be on the wing because they think you got it, then boom. So say you, you're coming to do the big behind the back, you just curry back. See, this is AI, he's gonna play better. Def different defense. Another one is that move right there. I just chain it in together with the other ones, right? But if you do that, all you gotta do to do that is flick up on your right stick, pull down diagonally, opposite ball handle. You just kinda hold up diagonally after you, you see it go. So what you can do is that, and then the speed boost. And then that's another thing I really like to do is just mix some of these in with the speed boost to get it off. 
that's just a little the best dribble style post patch that you can do and some new dribble moves for y'all as you can see the misdirection is pretty nasty all right well that's all i got time for today i appreciate the like and support until the next video i'm gonna show y'all some gameplay of me doing this in stage park it doesn't matter i'm gonna show y'all some new builds as well i'm working on a slash and playmaker with a 77 three ball it'll get contact dunks all that in 99 so I look forward to showing y'all some of that gameplay in general i'm glad that i can help y'all with some dribble moves until the next video i'll see y'all